welcome to the Nichols Nook. In this video, we are going to be discussing the Old Wives Tales gender prediction test to figure out if we're having a boy or a girl. So today we have 25 gender prediction tests that we're going to do for you guys. And some of them we actually have to do something for. And then a lot of them are just questions that we're going to answer. So we're going to start with the questions first, and then we will do the actual tests at the end of this video. The experiment. The Oh yeah, experiments. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it looks good. like a science lab over there. You got like things all set out. I'm curious as to what it is because I haven't looked at any of these. I kind of wanted to be surprised and have like a, a genuine reaction to yeah. it. So a lot of the questions I don't know. So when we, you know, if it turns out to be a girl, um, you know, that's that's a new uh, happening for me you know I don't I didn't know that before so you guys will experience it with me and by the way we do not have a preference we just want a healthy happy baby it doesn't matter whether it's a boy or a girl and these old wives tales are just a fun way to kind of try to predict the gender and they're they're not scientifically proven it's really just all in good fun <laughs> it's so, really similar. yeah I've heard a couple of them like uh, when you've been looking them up and they, they sound pretty silly so. <laughs> All right. Some of them are pretty silly, but let's yeah. go ahead and dive right fun. into this video. Yeah. All right, hold on. I got to help my hubby here. He's got to have this back support. Shouldn't that be me that needs the extra support? <laughs> I just sink down there. in the couch a lot. Is that better? I just sink down. Yeah. So heavy. Yeah, all those muscles. You're not heavy. That muscle weight. Yeah. Well. All right, so the first test is the Chinese gender predictor calendar. Mm -hmm. And basically, according to the lunar calendar, you're able to see if you're having a boy or a girl based on the age of conception and the month that you conceived in. However, here's a catch. You have to actually um, convert it to the lunar calendar. So it's different than what my actual age and month would be. So according to the lunar calendar, I'm actually 30 years old and we conceived in the fourth month. And you have to make sure that it's the year, the current year for the Chinese gender calendar. They update it every year. So I actually had to do quite a bit of um, calculating, I guess, to figure out exactly where I fall in that calendar. And I will post a link to the 2018 calendar down below so that you guys can see for yourself if you're pregnant. But according to the Chinese gender calendar, we are having a boy. Okay. <laughs> I, right. already looked, I already looked So that. boy is... So that's one, one point for, for boy. boy. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the next one is the Mayan gender predictor. And that is, again, the age of conception and the month. But I've also heard the year. But either way, it won't change our results because if they are, if one is even and one is odd, then that means you're having a boy. And if they're both even or both odd, that means you're having a girl. So for me, I was 28 when we conceived in the sixth month. And if you're using the year, it would be 2018. So both of those would be even, which means we're having a girl. I am so confused right now. I'm just taking your word for it because this sounds really confusing. Yeah. I can understand how people could mess both of those yeah. tests up. It's like cracking codes. It is stuff. like cracking codes. A lot of, there are some websites out there that have it where you can just enter the information, but that isn't always as accurate because like with the Chinese gender calendar, mm -hmm. they don't take into account your lunar age and month. So you have to be really careful. So you're 30. According to the lunar calendar. <laughs> yes. Man. So I do know this next one and it's the skull theory. Yes. And basically, you're, if you look at the ultrasound picture, if the baby has a flatter, squared off, sharp edged forehead. Not just forehead, but the chin and the back of the head, everything. If, if this whole skull. If the skull is more off. square, then it's a boy. And then if it's more rounder and softer edged, it's a female. Yeah. So I will insert a picture of our ultrasound so you guys can check it out. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pull up a picture of our 12 week scan or just before 12 weeks. So this is supposed to be a little bit more accurate, I guess. Um, so yeah, based off of this ultrasound, what do you think? Yeah, it's definitely more squared off with That's sharp right edges. Thing. Right. So we'll say one point for boy on that one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and I've asked on the forums too, and a lot of people think it's a boy oh. based off of the skull theory. See, but what if you you just have a rounder head and your baby looks like you? 
Yeah, that I mean, could, could if, be. So, we'll see about this one. But yeah. it does lean more towards boy. You think so? I don't know. We have to choose one. Okay. Well, my mom thought it was squared off. So. It's squared. We'll say boy. Well, it's boy. All right, so the next one is about my complexion. If I am glowing and I don't really have that much acne, it's supposed to be a boy. If my skin has been breaking out a lot, it is a girl. I think you're glowing. Oh, I think. And your skin has been looking good. It actually has yeah. been. You yeah. woke up this like I think it was yesterday morning and you came and hugged me as I was going to work and I was actually thinking, yeah, your skin looked really good. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. All right, so glowing? Yes. Yay. And I so, actually, now, during the first trimester, though, I did break out a little bit more, but that could have been a combination of my body getting used to the new hormones and us moving to a new climate. So, you're glowing, so that means you're, it's a boy. All right, so total we have point for boy. three for boy, one for girl. All right, so this next one is your hands. So, if your hands are... Um, Moist and not moist. <laughs> they're not moist. Swampy. No. Jeez. So it, if they're not dry, then it's a boy. But if they you have dry, flaky. Why do you have to add in your own? They're descriptors stuff. of painting a picture. If you have South Dakota hands, where <laughs> you're cracking and bleeding, just take all those things away. You can't have any more fun. You really did it in the sink. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Pretty good, left you hand. Can't do that again. Okay. All right, so not dry is a boy, dry is a girl. My hands have not been very dry. They're pretty normal. So Normal hands? Yeah, normal hands. All right, so that means you have one a boy. Another one for boy. We do live in a pretty humid environment, True. too. So maybe that Florida. Humidity probably helping. depends on the time of the year. Yeah. 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 So the next one has to do with my feet. If my feet have been colder than normal, it's a boy. If they have been normal or warm, mm -hmm. then that's a girl. And my feet have been really warm. Like I've been sticking them up on the couch because they've been getting so hot to have to like put them up in the air yeah. to try to cool And in the off. morning when I'm getting up, like your feet are just like, like the only thing not covered on your body. Oh yeah. So yeah. warm. So yay, a point for a girl. All right. Let's talk about your breasts. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. All right. Tell me about them. So, if your right breast is larger, then that means you're having a boy. But if okay. your left breast is larger, that means you're having a girl. Okay. So, which one of your boobs is bigger than the other? <laughs> I actually looked at this ahead of time so that I wouldn't have to go do it during the video. <laughs> <laughs> what, you wanted to see them? Yeah, we should go check I, I you want to go look? I okay. need to have All right. Be right back. All right. So we just had to double check. But yes. My right one is larger. <laughs> so that is another point for boy. All right. All right. The next one has to do with my hair. If it is thick and glossy, it is a boy. If it is dull and limp, it is a girl. And I'm kind of torn on this one because my hair is always thick. Like it's yeah, always been thick. So that glossy. hasn't changed. Yeah, well, thanks, babe. But no, it has actually been really dry, like really, really dry and coarse. Like, feel it. The only reason it's glossy is because I actually did it. But it's been like such a pain. Yeah. So I don't know. It's not really limp, though. Can it be thick and dull? It's My hair is always it's thick. It's always thick. Yeah. So it's more if it's dull or glossy. Right. I think it's dull. It's been pretty dull. Yeah. Okay. I even talked to it, my hairstylist about it when I went to get my hair done. All right. So dull, dull. All right. Body hair. So this really has to do with like leg hair. <laughs> okay. okay. So if it's been growing faster than normal, that's a boy. If it stayed pretty much the same, that's a girl. We've actually talked about this. Yeah, your hair has been growing yeah, fast. Yeah. I have to shave my legs like every day or else. It looks like every day. Well, yeah. Wow. I mean, I don't, but I just wear leggings on those days. Yeah. So that's another point for a boy. Linea nigra. All right. So Which this I don't. This just developed this week. It's starting to develop. What we think. Yeah, I. So I didn't know. I would have never known what this was um, until now. So yeah. 
uh, until she pointed out to me like, hey, do you see this? Um, so basically it's a darkened line that develops on your stomach. Yeah. Um, linea, I guess, meaning line. I don't know if you yeah, so it's right there. So if it runs from your rib cage, rib cage to your pubic bone, it's a boy. But if it's just from your belly button down to your pubic bone, then it's a girl. So And I have some up here. It just started, but yeah, I mean, I see it's like starting in this area, running all the way down to right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a point for a boy. All right, so the next is my face shape. So if my face shape is long and narrow, it's a boy. Mm -hmm. If it's fuller and rounder, it's a girl. Which this one, again, I've always had a round face. Yeah. So <laughs> I just, I've always had a round face. And I always have those big old cheeks. So I don't know. What would you say? Long and narrow or fuller and rounder? Has it gotten fuller and rounder? I noticed my... <laughs> my chin. Well, you're gaining I have a double weight. chin. Yeah, I know. So they're saying. Well, and I always gain weight in my face, regardless if I'm pregnant. So this or not, is saying so. that your like, your face is completely change. Not completely. Just if I'm putting on weight, I guess in my face, that would mean that it would be fuller and rounder. I don't know. Or if I'm, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So what do you? I mean, mean the other day cheaper. when you woke up. I thought your face looked skinny. Well, you did tell me that. Yeah. yeah. Did I say that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's kind of been long and narrow. I mean, for a round face. Considering you've been gaining weight, like you, your face hasn't been getting more round. It's, I okay. thought it looked pretty long and narrow the other day. Okay. All right. So another point for boy. Okay. So this one I do know the answer to. It's clumsiness. And so if you have been clumsy, which you have been yes. as heck, that means you're having a boy, but if you're graceful, which you have not been graceful, no. it's a girl, so. Yep, I have yep. been really, clumsy. really clumsy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so even, I was telling Chaz, when he's at work and I try to go sit down on the toilet, I like stumble over, like I've had a few too many drinks, which yeah. of course I haven't, but that's what it feels like. I'm so clumsy when I go to sit down, or like yesterday when we were eating dinner, I dropped a huge like spoonful of quinoa and it splattered all over the table. And yeah, yeah it just very clumsy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Dropping, <laughs> just dropping stuff. Okay. Did you almost trip in Target yesterday? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did trip in Target. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, the next one is nails. So if my nails are growing fast, then that's a boy. If they're breaking easily or very brittle, then that's a girl. I actually talked to you guys about this one in one of my updates telling you that my nails were growing really fast and thickening, almost like they are getting ridges on it, yeah. on them. So yeah, Whoa. they're definitely growing fast. Yeah. I mean, I just cut my nails and they're already growing back. You guys wow. probably can't see. So yeah, that's definitely a point for a boy. Yeah. All right. So the next one is headaches. If you've had headaches, then it's a boy. If you haven't, then it's a girl. Yeah. So I've had lots of headaches. You guys know that mm -hmm. as well. If you've been watching my updates, I've had a ton of headaches this whole pregnancy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. up, up until this week though. So, but overall a lot of headaches. Yeah. All right. Moods. I'm going to let Chaz decide on this one. Uh oh. So There's if no, I've been no like happy it. or <laughs> if I've been more happy or mellow or just happy or mellow, then that is a boy. If I have been really moody, then that is a girl. Um, oh, like more moody than I would be on it. <laughs> you haven't had basis. some pregnancy like, like snaps. snaps where yeah. you're, you know, oh, there's something on the bottom of the blender. And you're like, well, why don't you clean it then? It's like, okay then, I'll get right on that. No, I said, well, do you want to clean it then? Oh. I asked you. I didn't tell you to clean it. I asked if you wanted to clean it then. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I think for the most part, you've been mellow. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I actually think Chaz is the grumpy one like when he comes home from work. Now, part of it could be due to the fact, though, that I'm home during the day now. So I'm not like stressed out or anything during this pregnancy. And so that probably has some, some yeah. part to do with that. Oh, but that's and, another point for boy. And boys. why I'm moody is because I'm coming back from work. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> 
Next one is morning sickness. This is the classic one. You know, um, if you are, if you have nausea, if you if you're feeling sick but you're not throwing up, then you're having a boy. But if you are really sick and vomiting, then it, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. So, which my mom said for, for both you. my brother and I, those were true. So, like with oh, okay. with me, she was really really sick mm -hmm. all the way through her second trimester, like throwing up sick. And then with my brother, she wasn't. She didn't feel yeah. that sick. I think she had a couple of spots of nausea. So. I think they might. This one might actually be pretty accurate. People, you know, I've asked multiple people, like, did they have any morning sickness when they were having a boy? And they're like, no, not really. But with the girls, it's everyone says they have morning sickness. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, what have you had? Um, well, I was really nauseous. I mean, so much so that I would like not want to move from the couch during my first trimester. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even, but I didn't throw up at all until one morning. It actually started when I was brushing my tongue in the second, or I'm sorry, the 13th week. So the end of my first trimester, mm -hmm. I threw up a little bit in the sink and it was just like bile, which is kind of gross, sorry. But then it was done. It's not like it lasted yeah. throughout the day or anything. I know the term morning sickness can actually be like an all day sickness for a lot of pregnant women, which I didn't have. I did have a lot of nausea though, you know, like if I didn't eat or if I ate too much in the first trimester, but that's, I didn't really, I wouldn't consider myself like to have really bad morning sickness where I was vomiting and just, you know, getting really, really sick. So yeah, I think that would be a point okay. for boy. Point for boy. All right, and then cravings. If I've been craving more salty or savory foods, then it's a boy. If I've been craving more sweet things, that is a girl. But see, I feel like this one has changed. This is weird because like, you'll have something salty, and then you're like, man, I wish I had something sweet. And then you have some sweet, and then it's like salty. Yeah, so back and forth, back yeah. and forth. But I guess for, what would you say the most part you've been craving? Well, for the most part, I mean, I would definitely say salty and savory, but over this past, I guess maybe over these past couple of weeks, I've been really digging sweet stuff, like ice cream in particular yesterday. <laughs> Chaz caught me. He called me out on it. No, I, yeah, you, you surprised me. So I was like, I, I saw a bowl while I was doing dishes and, you know, it, it had some, it looked like ice cream in there. I was like, oh, you have some ice cream today? And she's like, yeah, what'd you say, twice? Or twice. This, as she was scooping more ice cream out. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that the same tub of ice cream? Because it, it was like halfway gone. And she's like, no, it's a new one. This is a new one. <laughs> I had gone shopping and I got more ice cream. Yeah. yeah, I had three bowls of ice cream yesterday. Vanilla ice cream with chocolate syrup. That's what I've been loving. But up until like these past couple of weeks, it's been mostly salty and savory. So yeah. I don't know. What you would you say for you that? You did kill a kill a bag of uh, those barbecue potato chips. I did not. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was playing over there and then all of a sudden the chips were gone over here. He ate half of them. No, I was playing the video game. They were sitting behind me. <laughs> you were taking handfuls of chips. Oh, you're, okay. All right. So would you say salty and savory overall though? Yes. Yeah, I would too. So as you can see, the boys are definitely taking the lead yeah. on this. Mother's intuition, I've felt that it was a boy ever since the beginning, pretty yeah. much. So, mm -hmm. and then you, we should actually add in yours. Right. We're going to add in dad's guess too. So what's your guess, babe? What do you think? Before you even saw, like, don't just go off of the old wives tales. Like, tell me what you actually think it is. I think that we're going to be surprised and it's going to be a girl. You think so? You think it's. All of this is going to show boy and then it's going to end up I being think a girl. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So daddy is going with girl. Yeah. Point for the girl. I'm going with the underdog. That's my girl. <laughs> All right. Next one is dad's weight gain. So if you haven't gained any weight, if you've stayed the same, then that's a boy. But if you have gained weight, then that's a girl. Hmm. From, from what point is, does a weight gain start? We'll just say the beginning of the pregnancy. I've definitely gained a little bit of weight and I've been working really hard to like try and like lose weight, but I can't. So I feel like because I've actively been trying to lose weight and like run more, but I can't, I've actually gained like one or two pounds. Okay. I'd say I've been gaining weight. Okay. 
It could be muscle too, though, because you've been working out really hard. Oh, yeah. So. Well, okay, maybe. but you I'd have say, gained a little bit. I weight? have gained weight. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Point for the girl. For the girl. <laughs> All right, baby's heart rate. Mm. If the heart rate has been 140 or below, that means it's a boy. If it has been over 140, that means it's a girl. And every time that we've gone to any of our appointments, mm -hmm. it's been over 140. So that is a point for the girl. All right, so yeah, now on to the experiments. So we have a handful of different experiments that we're gonna do. And if you have a it's weak good. stomach, and you don't like the sight of urine, I'm I gotta sorry, drink it. but <laughs> yes, this is, it, it's a pregnancy gender reveal test, so it does involve urine, so. Yeah, I was wondering yeah. why you had peanut cup this morning. <laughs> so I did save my first morning urine. It is still morning, so it hasn't been sitting too long. Hopefully it still works, but sorry if you don't like that. All right, so we're gonna start with the ring test, and basically that involves my ring so i'm going to okay. use my engagement ring just to give it a little bit of extra weight and then it says you can either use a piece of your hair or a string and you hold it over my belly as still as you possibly can and if it goes back and forth if it moves side to side or back mm -hmm. and forth then that means it's a boy and if it moves in circles that's a girl okay okay so let me get a piece of my hair oh this is gonna hurt should I do it? Here, Here we'll get use a long one. one. No, here, get a long one. All right, you ready? Didn't even feel it. Dude. That's some strong hair. <laughs> yeah, I heard it came out of your skull. <laughs> Don't drop my ring, please. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just do this. You're clumsy, remember? <laughs> Here, you got it? I got it. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to move the camera. All right. All right. I'm going to put it in your belly button so that it's closer to the baby and it really gets a good signal because okay. that's how this science stuff works. It's got to get the right signal. Yep. <laughs> but you got to be quiet. Okay. No talking. Okay. So back and forth is a boy, circled is a girl, right? Yep. Okay. Ready? I gotta hold my breath. And here we go. That one says a boy. That's yeah. back and forth. All right, so a point for a boy. This is the gender pregnancy test lab. All right, so I apologize for my really dark urine. That is my first morning urine. But this is the baking soda test. So I have two tablespoons of baking soda, and then I have my urine. So if it fizzes like soda or like a beer, then that means it's a boy. And if there is no reaction or it stays flat, that means it's a girl. Mm. I don't know, I kind of feel like that's not really fizzing that much. The ones that I've seen that look like a beer will foam a lot on the top like a draft beer. Really? Yeah. So I would say no reaction. No. All right, so the next test is the Kay. red cabbage test. Careful, babe. So you boil red cabbage in some water and then once it's strained and it's kind of like a purple water, then we mix equal parts, I guess it would be cabbage juice. Cabbage juice, gee, is that okay for him? Whoa, this is pretty. Yeah. It's like a star. Looks like a, the inside of a cell or something. It's like a star. So we'll do equal parts cabbage juice and urine. And if it turns red or pink, it's supposed to be a boy. And if it stays like a dark violet color, then that means it's a girl. Yeah. Here we go. Equal parts, pour the whole thing in? Equal parts, yep, pour the whole thing in. Whoa. That is pretty dark. <laughs> what? It's like... That's what? really, really dark purple. 
What does that mean? Yeah, so that's definitely not red or pink. So that is a point for the girl. Okay, the next test is the wooden spoon test. You're basically going to drop it, and if it lands hollow side down. So this side? Yeah. Then that's a boy. But if it lands that side down, it's a girl. Arch side? Okay. So it's like a flip of a coin. So hollow side down boy, arch side down girl? Yep. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Yep, go ahead, just drop it. I think I need to... Oops! Oh. Oh, 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 no, you can't move it. Chief, don't move it. Chief, you're messing with the experiment. <laughs> All right, so it's the arch side down, so that means what, girl? Arch side down means girl. All right, so the last test that we have for today is just a fun one that Chaz and I made up. It actually has to do with Chief. He is gonna get to pick whether he thinks we're having a boy or a girl. And basically, we just have two dog treats, and we are gonna put them by our team girl and team boy buttons, and whichever one he goes to first, that's what his guess is. So it's just something a little fun and different, and we're gonna let Chief go ahead and pick what he thinks it's gonna be, a boy or a girl. Stay Chief, stay. All right, boy is on the right, and girl is on the left. Can you see everything? Yep, I can see everything. Chief, what All right, are you Chief. Do? What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? Ready? Set. Okay. All oh. right. He went with girl. <laughs> Team girl for oh. Chief. According to these tests, we're having a boy, um, <laughs> which is what Jesse thinks, and usually that's I don't know. Um, close. A mother's intuition. I, I trust her on knowing what she's having, but the girl was close and that surprised me. There was, um, it wasn't as lopsided as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, they were actually a lot more even than I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna, just by reading them and knowing what symptoms and everything I've been mm -hmm. having and just kind of looking at all of those tests, yeah. I thought it was gonna really lean more towards having a boy, yeah. but they were actually surprisingly even. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, let us know what you guys think because I'm interested to see, you know, Maybe yeah. which ones were accurate for you guys if you've been pregnant before and have done some of these tests before. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, some of them are silly, like we said at the beginning, yeah, they, but it's all I don't fun. think there's much science behind them. I think it's just, <laughs> no. it's all fun. But yeah, we're really interested, interested to know what you guys think. We're going to make a poll and let us know what you think, whether it's a boy or a girl. Yes. And then we'll find out on the big gender reveal. So make sure you tune in for that. How you're gonna do that is by hitting the subscribe button and push the bell notification button so that as soon as we post that, you will find out. Yes, and you don't wanna miss it because it's gonna be exciting. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't I, wait. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. bye.